the distance you're going is still too much like this. If you can just go. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Thank you so much for watching another one of my tutorials slash behind the scenes of how I make another product commercial. This one was a very special collaboration between me and Ruby Smoothie. Basically, they're a freezer dried fruit smoothie blend. No added sugars, no preservatives, uh, gluten free, all that good stuff that I totally you know, promote in my own life. So, had so much fun making this for them. So pretty much, me and my husband were the only two people part of this project, and we did it right in the comfort of our own kitchen. So, stay tuned if you wanna learn how we did it. Alright guys, so let's get started. Um, so this is the box that Ruby had sent to me. It came with a blender bottle, a variety pack for me to try myself of their delicious Ruby smoothie mixes. Also a little thank you card, which I really appreciated. <laughs> um, but yeah, as you can tell, they have four different major flavors, a tropical, tart berry, sweet berry, and the sweet greens. Okay, so the first thing I think about when making a cool commercial is I need a really catchy beat that's fun and easy to edit to. So I went on Soundstripe and usually if I just stay on the what's you know popular page or what's new, I can find something that I like. And I found this one called El Chapo. And yeah, went with this one. So basically, to start the video, I was hoping to kind of do something a little bit more engaging. So we put together, well actually my husband beautifully stacked all of the fruit and vegetables that you see. And pretty much the idea was zooming in with the beat of the music and as the apple is getting tossed up, it kind of lands and falls into his hand as the ruby packet mixture. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, drop. All right, so a little tip on how I edited this part together. Um, pretty much what you're trying to do is you're just trying to time from when the packet is kind of at its lowest point to the next scene where the packet is also at its lowest point, but it's coming up. So that way, it kind of looks like it switches in your hand. And honestly, you have to tinker with this for a long time to get it just right, especially because the angles at which I shot it were a little bit different. So I had to kind of zoom in or zoom out, rotate, just make it look extremely like center. And yeah, when you put it all together, it flowed pretty nicely. But yeah, just expect to spend some time on editing just to make sure it is pretty much as perfect as possible. Okay, so these next couple shots were ones that just didn't work out for us because my blender would not function without the lid being shut all the way. So that's just when you kind of have to keep being creative and come up with ideas that can still move the needle. Um, but yeah, if you um, are creative, you know that storyboarding is a huge part of making any type of video um, and you need a plan. So you have one that doesn't work you need to have a plan b and so for us that was just kind of more basic shots um not from the top but yeah another shot that did not work out was trying to shoot through the packets as the powder was falling obviously we just didn't have the technicality right so we moved on one last tip for you guys when you're filming close-up shots 
One thing that'll help you stand out from the rest of the crowd is movement. As you notice, I move my camera to follow the pour of the shot. And even with this shot of such a simple movement, the straw, you're kind of anticipating the straw is going to enter the cup and you're almost following the movement. Same with this movement, you're moving out to demonstrate the whole scene. So just remember when you're filming, always think movement. It makes a boring shot so much better. All right, guys, that is it for this video. I really hope that you had so much fun learning and maybe even getting a little bit inspired for your own product commercial or ideas. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them down in the comment section below and I would love to talk to you more, answer any questions you might have, or if you have any tips on what I can do better, because I'm still learning, I'm still getting better at this um, myself. So I'm always open to ideas and tips. So you guys have a great rest of your day and talk to you later.